Hi, and welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. I'm your host, Kerry Garrison, and today we're going to talk about a cool way of doing transitions using something called a light leak. So stay right there. We'll be right back. All right, what is a light leak? Well, technically, it's a way of getting this kind of a, a neat lighting effect. And the simplest way is to just actually remove your lens from your camera and have different lights in the room and things. So as you move your lens away from your camera and put it back and stuff, you can get these cool, soft, glowing uh, light effects. And what I've been using them for is some transitions. And if we look here in this video, you know, um, I didn't want to do just a very basic cut, cut, cut to the music. I wanted something a little hipper, a little trendier, something more along the lines of what the Instagram crowd is doing. So doing something with these light leaks in here, I thought made these transitions look pretty cool. So we're going to talk about how to get them and how to use them. How to get them is easy. There's a ton of light leaks available for free. If you go to Google and type free 1080 light leaks or free HD light leaks or free 4K light leaks, you're going to find tons of them out there. Rocket Stock has a bunch of them. Premium Beat has a bunch of them. Uh, RP Stock had 25 of them. I mean, there's just tons and tons and tons of them out there that you can use for free. So once you have them downloaded, all it is is a video file. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down Chrome here and make sure I don't have too much other stuff running before I get into Resolve. All right, so I've got Resolve up on here and you know, I've got these these videos that are just, like I said, I thought they were just kind of bland. Uh, putting them to some music was fine, but I wanted something that just seemed a little cooler. So I go and I got these light leaks. And let's just go ahead and, and take a look at what they are. So you can see they're just kind of, that's all they are, are these light that has leaked into the camera typically by just moving the lens around. Now, all of these are kind of purple, and I'm not feeling purple for this particular project. I want something that's going to be um, maybe a little warmer. So um, we're just going to find, oops, we're going to go here and let's find one of these that we kind of like, though. Okay, I think that would make a good transition. So I'm just going to drop this in place, and let's get rid of our media pool. And we'll go ahead and zoom in because I want this to be over the transition point. Oh, well, where's the video underneath it, right? Okay, well, we need to get to that. But first, I want to color this. So I'm going to take this and go into the color panel. And um, we can try a number of different things. I mean, I can just try the offset and try making it warmer like that. That's probably one way of doing it. Uh, I can probably take the color temp and just move the color temp up. That would probably work. Uh, okay, let's um, reset the node grade on here. Well, we can go into our curves, go to hue versus hue, and we can try pulling this around, we might have to select a couple different spots to uh, kind of get the desired result, but I'm just not, not really feeling it, doing it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset that node grade. Let's go back to the color wheels, and I think I'm just gonna turn the color temperature up and just give it a warmer feel. I think that'll work. Let's go back to our edit page. And well, now we have to make it blend. So we're going to go to the inspector up here and you can play around with a number of these to try and come up with uh, something that you like. Add may work. Screen is going to work pretty good. 
let's uh, let that render out there a little bit. And let's see what's, what add looks like. Eh, just seemed a little, uh, seemed a little harsh. So I'm going to go to, go down to screen. It's the one I, I typically use. So we'll let that render a little bit and see what we've got there. So I think that, that looks a lot smoother and you could fade this in and maybe we'll do that a little bit. So we could use our opacity handles here and fade into it a little bit and make it pop right where that transition is. And it kind of makes that cut go away. Similar to using like a cross dissolve, but using one of these light leaks just kind of distracts the viewer so that they don't really see the trend or the cut from one scene to another. So I think um, while this can certainly be overdone and overused, I think doing it really subtly might work pretty good for some people. And if you put it on here, you got the color and you're like, oh, it's just still too much. Make sure you know that you can go up to the inspector and go to the opacity handle and just turn it down. You know, I can turn it all the way off. I can have it full strength, but maybe I just want it to be a little more subtle and I can put it at like 70% and it's not going to be quite as harsh. So this is going to work with light leaks or other types of online, you know, downloadable transitions that you can get. But light leaks is kind of the hot thing right now. And it might be something worth checking out. So look at that. Just as it got really bright, it cut from one scene to another, and I think it looks really good. So for this real estate shoot that I just did, I think this is going to make it stand out from a lot of the other types of real estate shoots that are out there, be just because I haven't seen anybody use light leaks in a real estate video. So hopefully this helped you out and that you kind of like this idea play around with it, download a bunch of these light leaks. If you've done something cool, post a link in the comments so you can share it with the rest of the community here and let us see what you did and what you've come up with. If you like this kind of video, make sure you hit the like on the video, hit subscribe and that bell icon to get notified every time we put out a new video. If you don't like it, show your, you know, show how much you dislike it by pressing that, the thumbs down twice. Really appreciate that. And, uh, as always leave feedback, lead comments. If you're not going to like this video, please post, let me know what you didn't like so I can make the videos better in the future. As always, this has been Carrie with Learn DaVinci Resolve. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.